I wanted to show a demo that illustrates that for some calculations, Closure Script can end up being uh, out of the box just as fast as Optimize C, especially for tight loops. Uh, and the example I have is a, uh, a program that essentially calculates the sum of the, the numbers, the doubles between 0 and 10 to the 7th. Uh, this is a C program, and the, and the main part of the loop is the bit I have highlighted there, and outside of, outside of it are things to measure the time and, and print out the answer. Um, if I compile it and then run that, you can see uh, the answer is in about 30 milliseconds or so. Uh, then if I optimize that, run it again, it should be faster. Um, you get down to about eight or nine milliseconds. Uh, to show this on um, ClojureScript, I'm going to use self-hosted ClojureScript and um, apply plus on the range uh, from 0 to 10 to the 7th is pretty much the same calculation. And um, if you run that, you see you get the same answer. And you see that uh, after running it a couple times, you pretty much get to the same speed as the optimized C. Um, and uh, this is also kind of cool because it's, uh, it's self-hosted. It has to actually um, essentially compile the expression that's inside the time macro and then do the calculation, which I think is pretty cool. That it ends up being pretty much the same speed in the end, even after all that. Uh, and I think the reason that the calculation itself is faster is that JavaScript core is using uh, its FTL or faster than light optimizations to pretty much I would imagine that it's pretty much emitting the same machine code that the Optimize C uh, compiler is generating. And I think that's pretty cool because uh, you get this out of the box with uh, these modern JavaScript engines without having to type hint your, your closure script or anything like that. It, it's pretty much out of the box, runs uh, pretty much at full speed. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching.